But I'm curious of, of how and what this big colony was doing. Ooh, they've got that glued down. Oh, some bees up there. Oh, yeah. This is worth getting you. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up. They're working those frames good. Well, in this one, because my assumption was they were hungry bees, I actually took a few of my coveted medium drawn honeycombs or partials and uh, put them up there so that we were pretty assured that they would come up. But we'll take a look. And this actually, this, this level kind of surprises me though. Squeeze your bee. Oh, it's getting warm. Easy, 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 easy. Here, we'll just sit there for a sec. Go back and tell them it's okay. Say, hey, it's okay. Alarm off. Turn the alarm off. Say, it's okay. Good bees. Good bees. Okay, now that I'm going to pull out the two that I marked that were eggs and such, and that'll tell me if uh, if there wasn't a queen, they should have made cells off of it. And that'll tell me something. This might be the one that gets the queen. I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out. They're starting to work those. I don't like them much, but... Oh, well. Maybe I'll move it in one. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. Get out of the way. Easy bees. Easy. Come on. Come on. No. Yeah. Get one out of the way and another shows up. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Oh, sorry. Shit. Crap. Does that mean no queen? Well, there'd have to have been a queen. What a... Uh, uh. Um... Surprise! Ooh, big fat larva in there, too. Man. Okay, you guys aren't getting there. I know that much. You ain't getting no queen. I don't know what's going on with you yet, but you ain't getting no queen. Now, could I have caught them all? No. Well, those are the eggs that I put in there. And they drew them out. About every one that they could, it looks like. There's the larva and stuff that, I, that was on that one. And it's being capped over. But there's no fresh eggs in the center. Capping over the larva. Made cells where they could. It's nice looking cells too. That's a pretty one. They got to busy quick. Yeah. Ooh, that one's good and dimpled. Go, baby, go, I guess. Guess I'm gonna have to call Harris after all. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm just gonna let them be. I can't imagine there's no queen in there. Oh, I don't have to worry about them swarming. That would be why they're still a little bit testy though. Crazy bees. Uh, Oh, I still got that bottom. One, two, three. Oop, oop, nope, nope, no dropping boxes. Well, I didn't expect that. I mean, I was kind of didn't mention checking this box just for a surprise, but I didn't really expect it to be surprise. Uh, there's no queen. Now, maybe I caught 90% of the bees and there was no queen. And that queen is that swarm back there. That's a possibility. Crazy possibility, but that's a possibility. Yeah, you guys don't want to put that on there. Crazy. Yeah, see, I like that better. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Surprise! Huh. Did not expect that. Huh. <coughs> that means you get a little castle on you. Alrighty, well, I'll be right back. I gotta think for a moment. Okay, there we go. Everybody kind of tucked back in, and I gave my brain a few seconds to process. I'm wondering if I missed the queen with them, and that the queen then went to that swarm box because she had such smaller amount of bees crazy thought don't know but the only brood and those bees are 100 percent clean the um they're like mm, i would say less than um a hundred cap brood and there wouldn't have been maybe like 30 cap brood when i put them in there um and then they got doused. So them bees is clean. And that's good. We like clean bees. Um, definitely defensive. And it is a little understandable of why they were stingy. You know, no queen. I don't know how that would happen. Maybe the queen broke off and went to the swarm trap and the main bees didn't. I don't know. Crazy bees. I don't know. There's a box of bees there. Two boxes of bees there. Um, but we got them all tucked in. Um, it looks like... Uh, these are taken to the entrance configuration, you know, fairly well. Oh, there's a bunch of pollen right there going in. Um, nice thing about that, don't have to worry about mice. I'm hoping and thinking that that's probably what it's going to end up like. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, this is just the wrap-up. Uh, yeah, that one... We, we now get a get a crown because we are making queens you know we are currently making queens uh, so we get a crown um, I'm perplexed with this one okay um later that day uh, what is it about one o'clock I think Where's the tip mm, looks like we uh, about 78 a little bit of breeze that's kind of nice um uh, last time last night time is 
Honey, I think, Alex, I think that's your name. I'm sorry if I can't remember people's names. Um, this is a uh, double divider board that I made um, and then put into use too late to save the colony. But um, we were talking about bottom boards and that's kind of what I was talking about with the bottom board. Um, this obviously was was what I did for them to share heat, but I um, I didn't want them I didn't want to jeopardize the heat of one too much for the lack of heat for the other. So I wanted them to be able to control it a little more, but um, and I also figured it would still let to get you know let enough through, and then. I don't like bees flying out the back of my hives, so I just gave them an ample uh, landing board. Um, but I'm thinking about trying a similar thing with my current bottom boards. And so I'm going to modify one of my boards here and, uh, you know, drill a couple holes in them and uh, put screening over it. Um, and uh, see if that works as a light end screened bottom board. Um, but fun, fun, things to think, things to try. All right, bye. Vlog.